Hey friends, let's talk about book covers. Um, let me know also in the comments below if um, book covers are really important to you or if it doesn't really matter. Um, there is also a tag that went around on booktube like six or seven years ago that was um, the element book cover tag I believe and so it went through like um, pick a book with earth, an earthy feel on it and then a book with green on it and then pick a book with fire on it and then a book with red on it and then pick a book with air or wind on it and then pick a book with white on the cover and then the last one was um, water on it and a blue book cover so I'm going to be kind of integrating that into this little chat style video. So there are a number of covers that I really like in my collection. I think I'm going to start with like the old vintagey stuff. So like um, this one you guys saw me haul in a video a little while back, Bell on Their Toes. I really don't know why I like this cover so much, but it definitely gives you vintage vibes, so I'm down for that. Let's see, I know some of my Tolkien books, the more 80s style ones, I really like them. And they're just like old school artwork, and I like it, I don't know why. So I like those. And then I also have these two that are also from the 80s, uh, Unicorn Dilemma. I don't know why I like it, it's just cool. And also Merlin, which is some really cool art style and I like this shade of purple. So there are a couple of the more vintagey vibes. I like for fantasy, I like Hood. This one, like, I like it when the cover reveals something about the plot but also keeps it mysterious. So this one, the font is like almost reflective of what's going to be the vibe of the book because it's like, it's, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's like chiseled wood down to like the word of a font. It's really neat. I like that a lot. Um, in terms of like people on the cover, Typically, I don't like that as much. I mean, of course, this is more of an exception. It's more of an artwork and every rule has the exception, right? So this one um, also has a person on the cover, but somehow just the beauty of this cover, I just want to be where she is right now. It's so lovely. So there's that one. That one's not fantasy though. Anyway, back to fantasy. Um, Fox. This cover is amazing. I, I just love it because, like I said before, like it, it reflects what's in the, in the book without spoiling anything. Like I really like that. Which carries me on to this one. Graceling. Um, it's pretty simple without being minimalistic. It's just a simple sword and then you see the mysterious reflection in the blade. Uh, I like that one. And then this one really caught my eye in the thrift store. I just, I just had to know what this book was about and I'm so excited to read this one. Um, so this one is like very simplistic, but it's, it's done on purpose so that you're focused on this treasure box. And yeah, I think that's really neat. So there's also like a uh, steampunky type of books, which are like uh, my Incarceron books. I like how there's like gears and cogs and keys and stuff. Very cool. I like those as well as this one called The Map of Time. Um, this one, I don't know, something about this cover is just super drew me in and it's, it's, the wheels and the cogs and and gears and stuff and then this old time piece and then the mysterious figure in the front really cool so I like that and and then um, this book I absolutely adore the cover of this book it is stunning if a cover has like water as the main feature I'm sold I love water anything water I could live in water. 
But anyway, back to the cover. I really like it when like the title reads across the image. It's kind of neat. It kind of reminds me of like um, movie posters. They sometimes do that as well. Uh, yeah, so I like that one. And now to go to the elemental um, book tag vibes. This one covers both the water and the blue. So we're good on that. I love that. So that covers water. And then I couldn't find one for like air or wind or anything. So I have a cover that fits the prompt, but it's not my favorite cover. So, and that is Beyond Tuesday Morning. Uh, this one has obviously the wind in her hair and birds in the air. So I figured it works for air. And when we're looking at white on the cover, I also don't have very much that fits with that. So, I mean, like, you could pick any of these, the Night Angel Trilogy by Brent Weeks, because, like, they all have white on the cover as a main component to the design. But otherwise, I really don't have very many white cover books. So then we have uh, Fire. And Fox has Fire around the mask. So I'm including that one for Fire. And then what with fire was red. And that one I am going with Safik. So that one's mostly red. And then the next one was Earth. Earth and green. So Earth, I will go with this one because it has like a forest here. And then obviously the font is made out of wood. So it's very earthy. And then this one because... The cover has a lot of green on it. So that is what I think about book covers and uh, a little tag at the end there. Yeah, so back to my question. Do you guys think that the design of book covers is important? Or like, what if it was a really great book with a terrible cover? Or what if it was a really great cover and a terrible book? Maybe I'll do a poll to see how important the cover is to you. So I'll have that poll up there. And yeah, let's chat some more books and book covers in the comments below. What are some of your favorite book covers? And what are some of your favorite book cover elements? Do you like people on the cover? Do you like more of an artsy design? Do you like, um, like a photo or abstract or yeah, like what do you guys like? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.